Today's video is going to be my first paint along tutorial video so I'm very excited about that and it also happens to be a video that's very close to my heart and very personal to me. Continue watching to see why. Shivani and I'm an artist and designer based in Chennai. I've been painting with gouache for over two years now and I've grown to really love the medium. The day I'm putting this video out also happens to be my first wedding anniversary uh, so it's a really special occasion and I decided to surprise my husband Rohan with this video. Birds are one of my favorite things to paint and I always knew that when I create my first paint along tutorial it would have to be a bird. I just hadn't decided which one so for today's video I decided to go with a pigeon and you're going to see why along the course of this video because this is also my strange love note to Rohan I decided on a pigeon because well let's just say we've had to deal with a lot of them <laughs> over the past one year but I'm a person who's a bit of a romantic and I look at life as a series of metaphors so to me this is another one of them and I'm gonna take you through that and my entire thought process while I paint. If you're new to gouache I would definitely recommend checking out my gouache 101 tutorial which I'm gonna link up here. It has everything you need to know as a beginner getting started with gouache. So here's my strange love note for Rohan plus my tutorial for all of you. So let's dive in and get started. For today's video, I'm going to be using my set of Winsor & Newton Designer's Gouache, which is my absolute favorite. I have two jars of water here. I have my ceramic palette and I'm going to be using Canson Montval cold press paper. I also keep a small sheet of paper by my side to swatch the colors as I go. As you can see, I've already drawn out the bird that I'm going to be painting. I've slightly erased it to lighten my pencil lines. I'm going to go over it with an eraser once again to make it even lighter. That's just to make sure that the pencil lines don't show through the paint. I'm going to be using my Princeton round brushes in size 2 and size 4. I really like the fine tip. I'll start by mixing up my colors. I like to have my colors laid out in advance so that the painting process is pretty seamless. For the first color, I'm mixing up a darkish gray. I used permanent white, black, ultramarine and burnt umber. I added the ultramarine in to give it a slight blue tinge and I felt it could be slightly more blue so I added a bit more and I keep swatching my colors as I go to make sure that they are exactly how I want them to be. Now I mixed up a slightly lighter shade of grey by adding some white to the first gravy mix and I'm making an even lighter shade than that by taking a lot more white. I did find that third color was a little too bluish for my liking and also a little too dark so I went in with some more white. You'll notice that colors often dry different from how they appear when they're wet. That's one of the reasons with gouache that it's so important to always be swatching. I'm now mixing a really dark shade of grey by taking a lot more black and mixing my first shade of grey into it. Now I'm going to be mixing a few colours for the neck of the pigeon and these are going to be much more bright colours because the pigeon has these iridescent feathers on it, their neck. The first one is a purplish tone using brilliant red violet with some ultramarine and white. I'm finding it a little too pink so I'm adding a bit more ultramarine to get it closer to a purple tone. And then I'm mixing up a more greenish blue tone by using cypress green ultramarine and permanent white. I then add in a bit of primary yellow to make it more greenish than blue. If you don't have any of these colors, um, don't worry about it. Use any of the closest shades that you have and it'll be perfectly fine. I usually work with just the primary set but I've just added a few extra colors to my collection uh, to give me slightly more bright tones which are difficult to mix up on their own. It can seem a bit daunting to paint birds at first but once you understand the basics of it, it's reasonably simple and a lot of fun and it's okay to mess up a few times when you're learning, we all do. Um, the important thing is that you don't stop trying. It's always useful to have a few reference images from the internet uh, in front of you when you're trying to uh, create a specific species. It becomes easier to understand the features of the animal or bird as well as the light and shade. At this stage of the painting, what I'm doing is called an underpainting. So I'm just blocking out the different areas um, with 
the colors that go there without being too precise about it and without worrying too much about the blending while we're painting i also did promise you a story about pigeons so um here we go just so you know uh, rohan and i are both very fond of birds and really any living being we've spent hours just staring at creatures and discussing their colors and features and their movements and their behavior and just overall being fascinated with them so coming back to our pigeon story my husband and i moved into a lovely apartment a few months ago uh, and we have a balcony with a view that we enjoy so much and a small attached terrace the unfortunate thing this apartment was fairly unused for quite a long period of time and that was enough time for all the pigeons to make every accessible area their home so now it's become pretty difficult to get rid of them and of course i'm not one to resort to any violent tactics so we are yet to figure that whole thing out but we've got nets on our balconies now so they can't really get in or so we thought <laughs> got to love how resilient these creatures are and i'll be lying if i say i don't admire that resilience from time to time uh, but i digress every now and then a couple of them do get into our balcony and then we open the door and they freak out and we freak out and it's a whole thing and uh it would honestly make a great scene in any film and then we somehow get hold of them and gently let them out through one of the windows and then a uh, few weeks later we have this whole thing repeat <laughs> we've tried all the tricks in the book and we've tried covering every gap we could find but really can't compete with that resilience i bring this up today because i thought it was a really nice metaphor for all the difficult days that we have faced and that we're going to face in our life together and one year of marriage has taught me a lot about the value of patience and understanding it's taught me the value of having the right person by my side with whom to deal with all of this literal crap sometimes <laughs> and there are going to be a lot of metaphorical pigeons in our life but i really can't imagine having a better companion to shoo them away with as annoying as these pigeons are we spend many mornings and sundays just sitting in our balcony and watching them in fascination we watch them try to court one another we watch them waddling around looking so ungraceful in comparison to all the other birds we see like parakeets and mynas and cuckoos and we watch them thrive and survive we watch them be resilient so maybe there's a metaphor there as well that no matter how hard and annoying a circumstance can be there's somehow always so much to learn from it So no matter how many pigeons there are we wake each morning we sip our coffee we watch them we discuss them and we give them way more importance than necessary and we laugh at their silliness too and then we hug each other and get on with our days some days we have literal nightmares about these pigeons but then we wake up and find a companion beside us and it's just so much better so that's our one year of marriage in a nutshell That's why I knew the first bird tutorial I did had to be a pigeon and what better occasion than our anniversary For now let's continue painting
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and my strange thoughts about life and love. Every part of our wedding was thought out with so much of detail and I put so much of love and care into it. I literally treated my wedding like the biggest design project of my life and I'm an organizer by nature so it was like completely heaven for me to be able to plan that out and execute it. We enjoyed our wedding so much. So today since it is our first anniversary, I have also made our wedding video live on my channel so if you want to check that out I'm leaving that link here as well as in the description. In my description I'm also leaving links to my Instagram profile where you can connect with me. I always reply to my DMs. I'm also leaving links to the materials that I used in this video in case you want to check any of them out. I'm just going to end this video by saying thank you to Rohan for everything for the last one year, for the years before that and for everything that's yet to come. I can't wait to see what birds the next one year brings into our lives. And whatever birds do come into our life, I will be here to paint them for you all. Next week, I'll be talking about gouache consistency. So to make sure you don't miss that, please hit the subscribe button below. And also, please do drop your comments. I would love to know what you thought of this video and what videos you'd like to see in the weeks to come. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.